So you downloaded a malicious file or clicked on a URL that you weren't supposed to and now you think your PC is compromised. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Yandero Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do when your PC gets hacked. The first thing you need to realize if you think your PC is compromised is that you have a time advantage. What I mean by that is that whatever hacker is behind the attack on your system, they are not going to realize that they have successfully breached the system before you do in most cases. Also, hackers generally put out these attacks on uh, hundreds or thousands of computers at a time. So you will likely find out that your computer is breached before the attacker. And that gives you a time advantage in the sense that you can move quickly and reset all of your passwords and possibly disinfect your PC. The next thing to do is to start making a list of all of your important online assets. What I mean by that is that get a list of all of your important email accounts. You cannot protect everything, but you can protect what's the most important to you. So I'm talking Gmail, Microsoft, um, Xbox if you have one, your banking credentials, any accounts that you use on a daily basis and that hold your sensitive information. Once you have this list, start going through it one at a time and keep changing all of your passwords. It's very important that you completely change all of the passwords that you have lying around just so you could have peace of mind that the attacker will not be able to intrude into your PC again. Do keep in mind that you should be doing all of this from either another PC or your phone and not on the PC that is infected itself. Moving on, another thing that you can do just for an abundance of caution is to get all of your credit and debit cards cancelled by your bank and then switch to new ones. What this does is that essentially if you've used your credit card or debit card or payment details anywhere on the internet and that particular website gets hacked, then you have an option uh, to protect yourself because that website may not be able to protect your card details very well. And in such cases, it's always best and the quickest way of protecting your financial information. So to help you out, here's how you can change your Microsoft and Google passwords really quickly. So I'm just showing you how to reset your Google and Microsoft passwords, but then you should also do it for any other websites that you deem important. It's just that Google and Microsoft are the ones that are the most popular. So for Google, once you've uh, reached the Google homepage, the first thing you need to do is click on your profile icon in the top uh, right and then click on manage your Google account. This will uh, get you to your Google account home settings. So go ahead and click on security. And now you will find all of your security information on this page. So you can see that my password was last changed on August 2nd. It's been a while. So you can check out all of your uh, sign in information here. Just make sure that you, uh, you change your password by clicking on this password link. And uh, then of course, uh, check your two verification, uh, two step verification phones, your recovery phone and recovery email. And then if you scroll down, you can see all of your active devices where you've signed in and all connections to third party app services. And this is what we're going to check first. So once you've changed your password, come down here. And uh, you can now check all of the different devices that you've logged in to. So scan this list for any device that you don't know. And uh, ideally you would want to do this uh, from every device. So uh, make sure you're using a computer that has not been breached while doing this, your PC, your phone, anything. And uh, now I'm just going to log out of all sessions that I don't recognize on this. So this is my current session. I'm going to leave this and uh, let's say I don't recognize this login. So I click on it click sign out click sign out again and it's saying that some apps might still have access if a third party app is installed that might have access to your account we're going to look into that right next so once you've signed out of all of the different uh, devices here head back and now we're going to do the same for third party apps and services so click on see all connections and this will show you a list of all the apps that you have. So you go through them and any apps that you don't recognize or don't want to use, you just sign out. So for example, I don't want to use Karina Free Fire anymore. So I can come down here, click on delete all connections, confirm the change. And uh, yeah, this is gone. So now if I come back, Free Fire should not be in this list anymore. So yeah, you can see you're not no longer connected. 
uh, we're going to do the same for microsoft as well so to do that head over to microsoft.com and log in with your account head over to the top right and then click on my microsoft account we'll wait for this to finish loading up all right so once again head over to the security section and now you will have uh, all access to all of your data, your devices and your account. So the first thing we're going to do is remove devices. Click on the devices section and then click on view my devices. And this will show you all of the active devices on which your uh, Microsoft account is logged in. In my case, it's my current laptop, uh, it's my current laptop and my previous laptop with location data and everything but if you wanted to remove a device you can just go ahead and click on the remove device button right here click on i'm ready to remove your device and then go ahead and click remove uh, once you're done doing all of this head back to the security section and uh, now it's time to change the password so go ahead click on change password and now you can type in your new password and change that as well you can also ask microsoft to force you to change your password every 72 days it's a good thing it's a little bit of a hassle to do but if you're using a password manager you will be better protected and now if you go to data security um, this will have all of your files and photos so this is basically for onedrive uh, i recommend you go have a look at this as well depending on what you have and just to be sure go ahead and check subscriptions as well in case the attacker has added any sort of subscriptions to your particular account as you can see i only have my game pass subscription active so i don't really have to worry about anything here and this is essentially the first and the most important step that you need to do in protecting your data against a hack once you're done changing your passwords it's time to disinfect your pc and the easiest way of doing this is to simply wipe everything Format all of your drives down to the scratch, delete windows, get rid of everything and start afresh. You can try using anti-malware tools uh, to get rid of malware, but you'll never really know with 100% accuracy that the malware is gone. It might persist in the system memory, it might persist in the system kernel and that's just calling for disaster. So the best way forward is to create a bootable USB drive with either Linux or a Windows system get uh, into the installation process wipe the entire thing completely and if you want you can use a bootable linux uh, usb drive to go into your system and back up any files that may be stuck there other than that wiping your system clean or cutting the hardware as they say is the best way of getting rid of any malware infection on your system i know it sounds a little bit rudimentary but this is the best way forward if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology and if you would like a little bit more help than what we can provide you in these videos consider buying one of our membership plans follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we will see you in the next video